So I'm here, so the same thing. Oh, yeah, and now on the net. Oh, God. So I'm here, dear. On the next time, dear, be brave. Now, this is Bongo Ideas. He was on an interview with Captain Smart on Onya TV. He's wearing the, uh, you know, a hat and also face mask because the last time that they caught him, no, the things that they've done to his face. Now, Smart, she has a polo. polo. <laughs> <laughs> But then, in this particular interview, he made certain mistakes and Captain Smart was schooling him and that's, you know, what I find very interesting and that's what we are going to listen to and we are going to react to. Captain Smart schooling Bongo Ideas for about 30 minutes straight. I'm the Headless Ichi, but there's Headless Reactions. Alatiai, Yanko! Oh god, so I'm mean, here, dear. On the next time, they'll be brave. So, see, I can picture be trend there, you know, on a guy be, I said, no more demo, you know, I know what happened, but I said, a former boyfriend be a kidney picture be a no more demo, or more having some good. Oh, say, say, yeah, former boyfriend, say, and they sat chair, I mean, and but on the next time, doors, so I want to go there. I think, say, maybe some expose about the facts and not. Or they see some people, you know, some people, political people near this. So, but now we evidence so or they see be. Yes, yes. How do you know? Because <laughs> okay, so be they see be a the facts of video be till restaurant he didn't just say or they see no. Oh. Eh. Okay. Now this part of the interview, you know, they were talking about some of the things that he has done in the past, and they were now on Sewami here, and he was saying that he has had some kind of um he published certain things about Sewami here, some kind of exposés. And now Captain Smart is asking him that, what evidence do you have? Now, this is not a, this is a reaction video. So I'll, I'm going to be pausing and reacting to certain things that happened in this interview. Aye. Who we'll contest, you no know, dating your day? What's what your definition? Dating? Okay. Dating, to be in an extra, extra marital relationship with people. Okay. okay. And okay. a politician is not, not, according to my investigation, they are married people. And see, who are they now who okay. said yes? So you investigate, you talk to people, people will give you information. How would you investigate? I mean... No, if I, I want to know things about you, I speak to people close to you. Excellent, but okay. who will come and tell you I've gone to sleep with XYZ? Oh, bro. Yeah, I mean, I'm asking you, so you tell you me. You know where they meet. Uh-huh. In the hotel? Oh, yeah, you can, you can investigate and know where they meet and even go and sit there. And you see in order them? to take pictures and videos. Okay, to so more and talk about yes. nature. Uh -huh. So you take those pictures and videos. But that can be no. But wrong if you're entering a hotel for one, two, three, four times, air continues. So it is okay. So according to him, no. If a man and a woman enters a hotel one, two, three, four times, then it means you know they are they are doing something. Now this is somebody who probably doesn't know that there are some people who have lunch at hotels, like basically. Every day they have lunch at a certain hotel. There are some people who, who like having meetings at certain hotels. They have business meetings there all the time. So you see them there. But they are in Faso. It's a trend. Mimi will be here. Hotel you come I want to be here meeting. So if you... Thursdays and Fridays, if you're looking for me, those who know, know. Mm. You will see me there every Thursday. But every do Friday. you enter with a girl alone? Yes, I go there with ladies. I go there with men alone. As well. <laughs> no, when you say alone, <sighs> I don't get it. I don't. I don't think say you should downplay my intelligence. No, I am not downplaying the work your I intelligence. You say something, and we cannot just believe what you say. Uh -huh. No, you need to believe me because no, I am not. Maybe, 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 but maybe facts and figures, neighbor. You don't come and say so stuff. So the issue is that. Obini will be co hotel. We will say repeatedly that's where they go, they go sit, they go talk. Don't you think, say, a beer is something other than what you're thinking? Okay, but it is a political figure. And yes. So Maybe a minister. And yes, they can make friends. And be meeting at hotels. Yes, they can make friends. Hotels are built for people. <laughs> the fact that you're a politician doesn't mean you see, can go to a there were rumors so, so if if there's a rumor say bb because you say not say me say whom say more raho one two three four times it it adds a lot to the rumor okay now what he's saying is he has seen people he has seen them going to the hotel one two three four times i tried to tell me that you that you're sitting here you go and sit at a hotel and your job is to sit there and monitor to see whether say why i'm here and somebody will come to the hotel one two three four times is that what you're saying 
And do you think these ministers, they are dumb enough to go to the hotel together with whoever they are going to, let's say, chop? Do you think whoever the minister is will work with Sewami here together and go to the hotel and go and stand at the reception and book the room and go to the top there together? If there's something indeed going on between them, don't you think the minister would go ahead and go and book and be there waiting? And like three hours, four hours later, Sewa will just walk and enter the hotel, not talk to the receptionist, go straight to the elevator, go straight to the room, and you will not see. You think they will walk together for you to see? Yeah, to us. Um, room number. <laughs> nah, bro. But yeah, we know where they meet and do stuff. No, no, I'm only asking. Assumption. Hotel, they have a lobby. Yes. Uh -huh. So, is it the lobby or in the hotel room? No, no, they enter into the hotel room. Okay, they, so they, you know they, the book, they book at the receptionist and do everything. So, okay. person who information, I'm to mark a receptionist now. You can pose as anything and get that information. We do all that. We ah, okay. So, that. Yeah. Who, who, who pose as be, be different? Yeah, you can you go, go and there, ask yes. the hotel, say, say, what me here, Baha? I don't know how a mammy most of so called, but that's criminal and you're criminal. Uh, no, I mean, that is impersonation. One and you're impersonation to I, go to the hotel. Also, I don't impersonate to make call for information. Yes, I'm the right information. That, yeah, we hope, baby. No, to go ask for the information. So, oh, yeah, who be being no, you can go and be like, um, this person has this person lodged at your hotel. And then the hotel will freely tell you that. No, the receptions can go through their logbook and be ah. like, okay. There's... How can you tell me this story? How can you, <laughs> How can you tell me this story? Huh? You were just, right now, a few minutes ago, you were telling Captain Smart that uh, he shouldn't downplay your intelligence. But you want to downplay we, our intelligence. Which hotel will you go to the lobby and just go and stand there and ask, please, um, excuse me, receptionist. Has Sewa Ami here come to this place? Which room is she? And then the receptionist will just tell, oh, Sewa Ami here, yes. She came here. She came with her number one, one, one. They are in room 312. Hey, you ain't to ask. No, I mean, it doesn't make sense to me that exactly. you walk Okay, in. but if somebody is coming to look for you at a hotel, or by or back at your no, say, I'm if you are looking for me at a hotel, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, nah, nah, it means you, you mm -hmm. don't send me down. Yes. Uh -huh. And I've told you to come look for me. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And to say, oh, bah, you only say, say, I am looking for Captain Smart. Yes. At our Lancaster Hotel. Mm -hmm. Okay. They will call me from the reception. Yes. It's not always that they will call you. Hey. Ah. It's, it's not always. Ah. I, how? What can they, then the South Hotel reception is normal. No, they'll no, just confirm that the person is there. Then they'll tell you to go to the room. So you went to the room? No, I'm not saying I went to the room. I'm telling you that sometimes that is what it is. Ah, and the hotel, no receptionist to know. I can't just say, Anne, or want to go room. Yeah, you can, you can say I'm here what to What kind visit. of bogus hotel is that? Now, here, Miss A. Captain Smart, the hotel is not bogus. The person that is sitting with you is the bogus one. <laughs> <laughs> I, the person that is sitting with you, he's, he's telling a lie. This is, it's, it's a clear lie. He's just making up the story as he goes. Yeah, Uncle? Yeah, it happens, you know. No, tell me what you're about. Don't mention the name. Don't <laughs> ask me, me what you're like. saying. It's... I'm just telling you how, the, kind of, the kind of energy that goes into what I do. Huh? No, that's fine. Yes. I, I don't want to doubt your energy. Yes. But, say, me, 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 Sapomako Hotel. Now, we buy, I will be saying, Captain Smart and Sapomako Hotel. I say, Anne. Okay, new room number. Hey, yeah. Uh, mm. MG. Unia studio. How can you tell See, me the story? Uh -huh. there's, there's, a society, there's a societal perception about hotels. The moment people see you enter hotels, there's already a preconceived perception. Say, you are going there to do something. Right? Do what? It is always something related sexually. Right? No, but you are a journalist. No, I'm a journalist. journalist. Yes, you are but I'm, still, are I'm talking for... about society. No, no, no. I'm not talking from my society. point of no, view. you are a journalist. Trained from Ghana Institute of Journalism. Yes. And you know that some perceptions are irrelevant to the reality you know that right i know that okay so if you know that as a journalist Ka why do you just feed on societal perception Ka i don't feed on societal perception but you, you, you make a link what i said you okay. make you make a link say 
if there's a rumor that we any way they tear, that's a you could more. You know, can you waste the money now? That's that's the kind of rumor or perception that they attach to their dating rumors. Um, um, on a um, call for a span as I'm calling vacations, so they can take them pictures and they add it to the rumor. You who hotels and stuff, you can add it to the rumor. And 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 it, and because society believes in, in in that kind of idea, say when you enter a hotel, it's for something clandestine and as a secretive. No, it, you know it adds to the whole room. But so, so if there's a rumor, or maybe let's say I I have meetings at a hotel with somebody, and there there's maybe somebody has come to the hotel and has seen me and the person twice or three times at the hotel. Let's say having lunch and having a discussion. And then rumors start spreading that hey, this this person and this person is like they are dating because we see them at the hotel. You've not seen me in a hotel room. You've not seen me having sex. You just see me and the person at the hotel. If if you are really you know somebody with links or somebody who is open in life, somebody who is exposed, you know that hotel no sex is like twenty percent of what happens at the hotel. There are people who have their meetings at the hotel normal. So to say that societal perception is that when you go to the hotel, it means you are going to have sex. Because of that, if you see somebody and somebody in the hotel, then you have to draw conclusion. Hey, journalist, yeah, so so. uh, Do you know, sir, sir, Obi the hotel? Maybe if you don't know, uh -huh. let me tell you. Sir, yeah, me the hotel. Now me no need any appointments. Now the hotel will be with some asema. I come with some I can call for your arrest. Yeah, mm. Do you know that? Yeah, That's criminal. <laughs> Why is it criminal? No, do you know? Oh, no, it's it's you know. For example, we say Yemfan is a Ura hotel. It's an amount for taking pictures of you. Yemfan, so I can. I met me my police. I bet you for no take picture though. If I see you, okay. You are if, not supposed to take pictures of me without my notice. Okay. What if you don't see it? If I don't see it, that's fine. But when you post that picture and I know I did not give you the permission, I can take you on. Then everybody on the internet will be arrested. Though. No. Oh, yes. You see, this is the thing because people don't do it. People think it is not done. Because people don't sue people for certain things, it has become normal to the point where people think it is normal. It is not a big deal. If you, if you even take a coded picture of somebody and try to expose the person, it, just put the person online, okay? The person has not done anything to you, ne, 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 ne. the person can take you on if they want to. See last time what a Lewin was saying about Sandra and Kobia. It's something that happens all the time. People have been dragging people on social media all the time. People don't, you know, go the extra mile to sue the, the people. So right now it has become something normal. But it is something that if, even if you insult somebody, recently a Teflon Flex, his girlfriend, on a, I think on TikTok, a certain girl made a video dragging her. She didn't talk. She took it to the court. She won the case. The 5,000 Ghana cities or 10,000 Ghana cities, they paid. The fact that people have been dragging people online and the people don't talk, it doesn't mean it is not done. It doesn't mean it is normal. <laughs> you don't know. You have to It doesn't matter. <laughs> no, you see, I, I think that we should be a bit circumspect when we mm. just driving our egos as journalists into the private corridors. Me, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not a fully fledged, I'm a blogger. No, no, no. Bloggers are all journalists into. The private corridor. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a fully fledged. I'm a blogger. No, no, no. no Bloggers you went to GID. Are, uh, yeah, but our blog, blogging is different. No, from no, 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 no. You went to GID. Chain, chain, chain. Now these are the kind of people who make people insult bloggers. You are not a fully fledged journalist. You are a blogger. So bloggers, there, you can just you know put two and two together and in, in, insinuate and just talk and go. Meanwhile, on your social media, you've written that your name is journalist Albert. Journalist Albert, today you are saying that you are not a fully fledged journalist, you are a blogger. <laughs> hey, you see, now that Captain Smart has cornered him, no? he is saying he is not a journalist, so we should spare him for all the mistakes that he has been doing because he is what? A blogger. A bl <laughs> hey, hey, so yes. you are a trained journalist. Yes. Fantastic. Somebody who went to GIJ, you are doing all these mistakes and you are saying you are a blogger. Hey, so when, when you are just driving your egos, into the private corners of individuals. You think it's private? Yes, it is. Because even if you pay me directly, like a media mm -hmm. general, mm -hmm. if not for any reason, uh, Captain Abedaha, and in a reception, say, Captain Ruby, can you, I mean, please. <laughs>
No. <laughs> well, a, a lot a, a lot goes into the work, right? So if if you're looking for credible information, I don't think you're undercover journalist in investigating. You see, this guy is trying to prove to Captain Smart that everything that he has been posting online, he, he, he has the facts, like the way he has the right and facts, 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 you know. Meanwhile, your process right now, there are so many holes in it. Now you are trying to say that credible info. What do you want to ask? It's adding to that you are undercover journalist, an investigative journalist. Don't they, you know, disguise themselves to get information? What is guys here? A entrapment, subterfuge. So, so I think Anas, what Anas does is entrapment. Yes. And then someone will say entrapment. What are you asking? It's entrapment. He doesn't know that it's entrapment. Entrapment is if you if you do something like 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 you offer somebody bribe to catch the person and so that the person will commit a crime so that you catch the it's an entrapment subterfuge it's entrapment and this is basic journalism basic you you <laughs> Onimo he because he has data and bando and he thinks he knows what a freedom of speech is so he just goes online and types anything and everything. <laughs> yeah, but. Only say entrapment. What are you asking? He doesn't know. It's entrapment. He doesn't know. Entrapment. Only. Ah. Only. You don't know. That's Only. entrapment. By a journalist or not say a journalist. Just that he's doing no, investigation. No, no. I am not talking about journalism. I am talking about entrapment or subterfuge. There's a difference between investigative journalism and entrapment. The people who go to a um, the, let's say there's a war in a Nigeria. The people who go and they go and do undercover work. Some of them they go into the 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 home of the your friends say of the enemies the, the terrorists they go and interview the terrorists some of them go and disguise as part of the terrorist a and that's a undercover just to find information but entrapment is when you go and have a meeting with a person and then you offer him bribe and you are taking a video of him and you offer him bribe and he accepts the bribe, then you go and put the footage there that, okay, this guy takes bribe. Meanwhile, you are the one who offered him bribe. That one is entrapment. It's different from investigative journalism. It's different. You mm -hmm. These are, these are things that even America can with you. So you don't believe in Anas method? It is not about believing Anas method. I am telling you what you did was wrong. <laughs> that you went to a hotel asking the receptionist, so be a better one. That is wrong. Me we yes I bet you hotel number two. Mama ya buwe prao. Oh yeah. No me I'm telling you. You see some of these things eh. We should not just hide behind anything and do things like this, my bro. You are my little brother. It's wrong. Don't do that again. What the koyo be a obi tu mama ya chwa bo heavy. Because it's my right. You are actually driving your egos into my private corner. So tomorrow, if a person takes you a picture of you entering into a hotel, you look for the person and be the person. Me ba hotel. Now what to hold? Now we try my picture. Now one can't you? Maybe you phone us from from the police station. I'm telling you today. We better try me and see. Maybe we phone the best from the metro station. We better find me come on GP. Now you see, he's laughing. He doesn't know how serious this thing is. Imagine you are walking into a hotel, and let's say somebody is taking a secret picture of you, and the person's flash comes. So you see that the person has taken a secret picture. The person is hiding and taking a picture of you, and the flash comes. So now you've seen that this person is taking a coded picture of me. Will you just walk on and go because yes, everybody can take a picture of anybody? Or you will go and confront that person that why are you taking a picture of me? Let me see that picture. Delete that picture. You don't have the right. Why are you hiding to take a picture of but me? But why are you also taking a photo and breaking it? If you have any, if you don't have no, anything to hide. why are you hiding to take a picture of me? If you have a good intention. But if you have nothing to hide, don't, why do you take the photo and break it? That is where sometimes we hide as journalists that if you don't have anything to hide. Why don't you go to your father's room and when your father is sleeping with your mother, you take pictures of them? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Because, yes, that one is journalism, right? You can go and hide and take picture of anybody. Why don't you hide and take picture of your parents when they are having sex? That one there you don't do. But you go and hide and take picture of somebody entering a, a hotel. <laughs> Why don't you go and take picture of your father sleeping with no. your mother? That's wrong. But anyway, you're fine and talk. And let's move on with the conversation. <laughs> So I know the Sasana we are the me what the bam me 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 proud me no me catch your plane more at all don't hide okay. anywhere take a picture of me me who I made you phone us eh no. Oh, I am a call. 
uh, moving pig. Okay. We call. Uh, we we'll share some of these things that happen around and what people say. Now, pay attention to the way Captain Smart has said that if you do this to me, mem one, he said member, two, he said mama and papa, three, he said major your phone, I'll spoil your phone. Pay attention to these things. And this is somebody that you are sitting with on, on TV and he's telling you that if you do this to me, I will do this to you. This is some you are seeing it too. Now imagine somebody you don't know and you go and talk about the person anyhow online. And you think that person cannot come and do this to you? That person cannot find you and beat you? <laughs> yeah, uncle. About the things you write, mm. do you feel sometimes feel worried and all that? Yeah, for the people to come for me, yes, right now, I, I, I don't feel safe. You don't feel safe? Yes, but before Nadi, and I'm here, very very okay but for the people to break because i feel like i say we'll be able to break into your house and just pull you out and just go and do whatever they want to do with you <laughs> say 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 you are alive you are alive you are not alive you know people just move on with their lives nobody really cares so it's it's sometimes i really worry about the fact that in a way you know maybe i can't speak the way i used to speak because, you have to stop. okay now you see it's not that the reality is hitting him he used to do this stuff all the time, and because nothing happened to him, he feels like, oh, Twitter is not a real place. I can say whatever I want to say online. But now that he has faced the repercussions of what he has done, and he has seen that, okay, there is some danger out there. There are some people that, if you talk about them, they can hurt you. Now, you see the way he's talking, that he doesn't feel safe because of the things he has been tweeting. <laughs> yeah, uncle. Maybe I can't speak the way I used to speak. Yeah, you have to stop. If you can't speak the way you have to speak, and you are speaking the truth, me, I will support you. It is truth. Mostly it is so, truth. So, mostly is the truth. Yes. So, the parts which is not the truth, don't say it. Like, 90% 90, 90, 90 is truth. So, the 10% which is not the truth, don't say it. Thank mm. you. So that you can always be on the safer side. Is everything you say on your show the, the truth? If I don't have the evidence, I don't say everything it. Everything you say is the truth. Everything. But now, you see, now that Captain Smart is trying to advise him that, if he knows that something is not the truth, he shouldn't say it. Now he's trying to, you know, punch back at Captain Smart that okay, no, what you say, no, it's not all that is the truth. Yeah, there are uh, instances where people come out to say what no, you say. No, when people come out to say... That's the same thing they do to no, me. No, no, you have just admitted that 90%. So you yourself have admitted that there's 10%. Of what you say, you your truth cannot be 100%. Mine is 100%. There's no 100% truth. Yes, there is. No, I don't believe I came to work this morning. Is it not true? Yes. Uh -huh. I'm talking about what you see. The things I said this morning, so two for what crack containers ten aba. I mean, you go to your duty. Is it not true? See. It, so, what I'm saying is. So, now you're saying that there's no 100% truth. So, you think everything that everybody says, there's an outer of lie in there. You don't know that everything is like there are some, there are some truths that somebody can tell you something and it's 100% truth. Huh? The next thing that they fought for independence, there isn't a lie. The, just a, <laughs> if you think about this, this guy and his mentality and the kind of things that run through his head now, you know that there's something wrong somewhere. There's something wrong somewhere. <laughs> yeah, uncle. Truth is different from people's truth. Hey, what's what? So what I'm saying your is your truth is different from people's truth. Yeah. What I say? People's yeah. truth does not represent what you are saying. But I can't tell me that everything you say is the truth. It mine is the truth. I have not given you any percentage of which ten percent is not. But people people dispute it. Let the people dispute legally it. and go to court, what? and then the evidence will come to court. Now you see, this is the difference. You that you're going to say that Sewami here is having a sexual relationship with somebody. You don't have the proof to, to um, like, to prove it. If she should drag you to court right now, where is your proof? You just say that, oh, it is rumor, and I saw you at the hotel. Do you have proof? What proof do you have that they are having sex? You don't have proof. And Captain Smart is telling you that if it's 90% truth that you say on your show or on your, 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 your timeline, then make sure that you stick to that 90%. Don't add the 10%. Don't say it if it's not the truth. And you'll be on the safer side. Now he's arguing. Yeah, you get it? So now you are not safe. I'm much interested that you are not safe. Oh, yeah. That yeah, is more yeah, important yeah. to me. I'm what to. do you think together we can do? 
to help you to be safe. You want to change where you live? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even sleep at my place no more. I sleep okay. at friends, friends, place, family. Sometimes I sleep at guest houses and all that. So. You don't have the peace of mind to sleep at your own place. I sleep at night just fine in my house. It's only thieves that I'm worried about. That's why there's burglar proof around. That's why I lock my door before I sleep. You cannot sleep in your own home. Not because of, you know, ordinary thieves that you're worried about. But because of the things you do on social media. And you don't have the kind of protection that the people who do the things you do, know they have. And you're going against people in power. Powerful people who can hurt you. I'm not saying the hurting that they are hurting you is a good thing. But they can do it because they have the power to do it. Do you have the power to protect yourself? No. <laughs> yeah, uncle. Yeah, but already I've written to ECOWAS, I've written to UN, yeah. I've also written to uh, United Nations, uh, yeah. United Nations um, African Union. I've written to um, Amnesty International and other you know, human rights bodies. But they are here to get back to me. That you are not safe. Yes. That you are not safe. They will not get back to you because they know that what you are doing currently is stupidity. Stupidity. You are just moving to people unprovoked. Aside, you know, the, the government officials and what was. You are moving to uh, civilians unprovoked. <laughs> okay, so now, Unless... what, what do you think can make you safe? If, if I can be of help, I will gladly do that. I'm telling you, no, no, no. Me, as far as I'm in Ghana, I feel like I'll still not be safe. Unless I'm living in a gated community or maybe somewhere that people don't know or a different region or something. But <laughs> Different I, region, they will still put you know you. Yeah, but, okay, even in Accra, I think I need to live in a safer community because me, my community is open. It's a dormitory town, so it's really open. But if I should live in a very enclosed space, you know, where I know my security is guaranteed, that would be better. Now, what is so true? You are living in Soto, a compound place where there's no security, where people know where you live, where you just walk around. Somebody can enter your house and knock your door and break your door and there's nobody who will come at your rescue. They come and carry you and carry you out of your house and nobody in your house has a car to follow that car who came to carry you. And you, you know that we are UM4, but you are a UM4 chap and yet you are doing things that you shouldn't be doing. Hey, <laughs> Rade. Now that you want to live in a gated community, okay. Because it's, yeah, for people to just break into your room and pull you out, masquerading as police officers, it can happen to anybody. So, if no, sure, sure. I mean, I've been arrested a number of times. Yes. So, if you say you are not safe, I understand. Yes. Uh -huh. But I may have maybe a lot of people around me. So, I think I might be safe. Uh -huh. But you are not. Yes. So, you need a gated community house. Mm. Okay. What's your budget for that? Have you <laughs> found out? I mean, budget. I don't have budgets. Budget. I mean, oh, baby, so wait, 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 budget. <laughs> <laughs> wait, budget. Budget for what? This guy cannot even afford a bicycle. Budget for a house. To what? To rent a, a house in a gated community. Wait. Master, let's be serious in this country. Somebody is asking medical for Momo. He has money to he rent. Yeah, I'm speaking to a couple of people, but so far. So it's... now you sleep. Yeah, yeah, I don't sleep at the same place twice. Okay. Yes. You know. Would you want to go out of the country? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You think that yes. would be much safer for you? Yes. Yes. Where do you want to go? US. You want to go to US? US. Yes. Yes. No, 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 US. Apart from no. US, no other place. You don't like Germany, France? Where you can be safer? US, Ghana for me, so you can easily be tracked. But I think US supports free speech. Yeah. You think so? Yes. Free speech. No was born just said his whole goal in life i've told you before in previous videos his entire goal in life is to go to the usa and when he gets there he will do what kevin taylor and a Trini jonas they are doing no? he will do some i think largely it's it's, 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 a, it's it's a place for growth you think they can protect you as a black yeah, the person. systems yeah, you mentioned the, floyd george floyd yes yeah, yes. America, I know I want issue so but largely in america is the ideal place Forget. for you it's not just for me, but for everybody who is seeking to be, you know, vocal and share your opinion and all that. No, that, that's I think, the idea. I think you can reconsider that if you're looking for safety. You think America does not for, guarantee safety for for speaking your mind to an African community like Ghana? 
you need to, you know, possibly maybe look for somewhere a bit far. But Ghanaians are everywhere. Yeah, I know they're everywhere, <laughs> but... Ghanaians are everywhere. So you as a... He wants to go to the USA because he has seen what Cheney Jonas is doing in USA and he has seen that nobody has attacked Cheney Jonas. He has seen what Kevin Taylor is doing in USA and he has seen that nobody has attacked uh, Kevin Taylor. And he has seen what a young don, that guy, he's doing in USA and he has seen that nobody has attacked him. So he knows that in USA, even if the people see you physically, they cannot punch you because they are scared the police will do something to them. That's why he wants to go to the USA. Okay for you. Yeah, Have me, you started the process? Yeah, me. People are talking about seeking asylum and all that. You don't, don't seek asylum. Yeah? Go through the normal process, get a visa and go. Mm. Wait, that's a form count me, to wait, wait. That's a form. That's a form count me, to say hundred dollars or say one fifty dollars. Count me, to. The thing that this guy is going to, they say there are some people that they don't, they don't see themselves more, but omu 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 omu. You know the kind of family that you are from. You know the kind of background you are from. You will not live your life in a certain way and just say, <laughs> If you get a visa, I'll pay your ticket. Hey, Captain Smart, so join in more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll pay for your ticket. <laughs> Captain Smart. No, no, no. If you have your visa today, I'll pay for your ticket. <laughs> Captain Smart, you join in more. Now, you are on TV with the show host. The show host is telling you if you can manage to get your visa, I will pay for your flight. And you are saying that oh, yeah, no. Indirectly, you are telling Captain Smart that you don't respect him. He that he's sitting there, you don't respect him or you don't see him as somebody who can even afford to do this for you. And can you some fraud boy there? Or those people that you've been asking them for Momo, if they were the ones who told you this, you will not say oh, yeah, no. But because it's Captain Smart, they should tell you how a, this guy sees Captain Smart. He is sitting down interviewing a, interviewing you, but you don't see him as somebody who can even buy a um or provide you with a flight ticket. You see the kind of perception he has about Captain Smart. Because why would Captain Smart tell you that oh if you get your visa, I'll I'll pay for your plane ticket, and then you say oh Janine, on national television that he's bragging. They should tell you that this guy he has no regard for Captain Smart. Yeah, okay. Ah. okay, Ghana for now will catch up. They know the things I do, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe, I believe, you know, yes. If you have your visa today, I'll pay for your tickets. Mm. If you are not safe, yeah, yeah, I'm not safe, yes. So, because I don't know what could happen the next moment because the people who came, you know, what they did to me, it was it was really vicious. Let's look at to some extent, to some extent, yes, no problem. because I'm saying, don't talk about the president, don't talk. About the president, that was their point. And no, 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 Moses. Well, I said, do you think so? What should be be about the president uh, later? You thought that, oh, as for this one, there, uh, me, I don't regret to. Uh, oh, okay. oh yeah. and yeah. I, no regret, no regret at all. No matter what, just that there's nothing that this guy has said that he regrets. If he, if, if your parents die today, this guy can tell you that, oh, the way your parents are dead, there's like you killed your parents, and he has no regrets. He told SDK that SDK, uh, his, his parents died, I think his father died, and a short moment later, his mother died. This guy said SDK killed his parents. No remorse, no remorse, no regret. Moesha Budong got into, you know, he, uh, she was bedridden. She this stroke issue. And people were donating to help Moesha. This guy said nobody should help Moesha. Nobody should even pity Moesha. And you expect me to pity somebody like this? Forget it. It's all perfect. I didn't tell them. Let me put it. Ten thousand. This one there. Me, I don't Shooter. regret to. Ah, oh, okay. And yeah, it's all perfect. I didn't tell them. Let me put it in the mountain. <laughs> yeah, 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 I don't. I, I, I don't regret. Let me put it in the mountain. A mountain. Oh, oh, parent to Accra. Yes. I am a friend. We talk. <laughs> we talk. Then I'm gonna catch up when you write and you know. <laughs> Oh, they are aware that Sarah is the same sense. So know. your parents are comfortable with yeah. that? Yeah. On social media, it's a different personality, but at home, it's a different personality. Yeah, I, I know. From, yeah. I mean, but maybe, maybe I want to say, what you say? Um, and Uncle Fokka was saying, so what can we, what can we? I mean, I am, I am, I am, I am, I am, I am, I and that's all yeah, and to say we basically you know more funny normal. More funny normal. But we see any day they become so paranoid. Okay. Yes. 
So your parents are alive. Your parents know what you are doing on social media. They've been seeing you and seeing what people say about you and seeing what you do. And they take it normal. Until this happened to you now that they are paranoid. Sometimes you see, when you see people like this, you have to, you know, you wonder what kind of parenting they got. Because I don't think anybody, any, any parent who really cares about their children, who really, you know, believes that they brought up their children in the right way, will see their children moving mad on social media, talking ill about people, moving to anybody at any time, saying anything at all about anybody. And they, your parents will be cool with it and they'll see it as normal. And it's now that you're going to touch the tail of the lion or you're going to step on toes that you shouldn't step. And now something has happened to you now that your, your parents are concerned. Now imagine the people who came to carry him, you know, they, you know, they, they got through with their plan. And by now, we've done your, your one week. We, we've buried you. We've moved on with our lives. And the parents have lost a child. Because your own family member was interviewed and she said she, Nankasa, she hates you. She doesn't like what you do. But you're on TV saying that your parents are cool with it. If what you're saying is not a lie, and indeed your parents are cool with it, then your parents, Nankasa, we have to really, you know, see their parenting skills as some way. I know it's very difficult to train. You can try your best. But if your child is going wayward, usually there's nothing you can do. You just pray for the person and move. But if you are saying your parents are cool with what you do, <laughs> and they're Mr. and Mrs. Ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Ideas, then you there. And um, so yes, yeah, let's let's end it here. Let's end it here. Uh, I think. I know it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so. uh, let's end it here. Now, share your views in the comment section. Do you think uh, the schooling will even? Me, I don't think it will even change anything in this guy's mind. He will continue doing what he's doing. Now that they told him, don't talk about the president. He will probably wait till the president is out of power. Then he will go and talk about the person again. Or he will move to different people. But this guy has not changed and he will not change. And so far as he hasn't changed and he will not change, my sympathy towards him would also probably never change. And that's me. And I'm ready to die on this hill. So forget it. If you come and show emotions in the comment section, that's on you. Aye. Watch other videos on this channel. Tell somebody about Headless. And more videos will be coming. Share your views in the comment section. Ready? Yeah,